All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Tyler Hespeler. I'm a local real estate agent in Mystic, Connecticut. I'm sure everyone watching this video has heard probably a thousand times that rates have never been lower. It's a great time to buy. What I want to do really quickly is just do a kind of an example on how, what exactly uh, a low rate, you know, the difference between one rate versus another rate can mean, you know, on a monthly and a, you know, a 30 year basis, right? So one quick way to do this, and I advise, you know, anyone, if you're looking for, if you're in the market to buy a house or if you're looking, or if you're in the market to even just begin to look for houses, go to amortizationcalculator.com and just do this, right? So go to mortgage. Um, we're going to go the loan amount. Say we're going to buy a $250,000 house. And one quick note about this. So $250,000, that's not the entire purchase price, right? If you're going to put down twenty thousand dollars on a house that you're buying for 250 your loan's only going to be 230 right so keep that in mind just for simplicity's sake we'll keep this at 250 um but yeah so let's run the numbers right so mortgage two hundred fifty thousand dollars, 30 years and let's do 3.5 percent right so calculate and what we have is so we have a monthly payment of 1122 right your total after 360 payments after 30 years is going to be four hundred four thousand dollars and 154 thousand of that is interest alone right which is you know for i know for myself when i first bought my house that was shocking to me that's a very high amount of interest and you're only you're paying you know over half the properties in, in, in interest and this is with a low interest rate so and i want to kind of briefly explain how an amortization schedule works and you know first of all the Best thing you can do is speak with a lender, speak with you know a licensed or you know a professional mortgage originator. Basically, how an amortization schedule works, right, is you have that, that interest payment isn't consistent, right, and it's a way for the banks to make their money really in the first couple of years, right. So if you look at this schedule, you can see you know, your interest starts out wicked high and your principal's really low. So your your monthly payment's the same, right, as long as you have a fixed interest rate right? Your monthly payment will be the same, but your interest is going to vary and your principal is going to vary. So when you start out, you're paying an insane amount of interest and your principal slowly comes up and your principal slowly, go, slowly goes down. And you can see, you know, you're paying $1,100 and you're barely taking anything off of that balance because all of its interest. Now, as we get to the later part of that loan, you, it's more, you have more principal, less interest. And then finally, you know, you're, you're now, once you finally pay the whole thing off, it's almost entirely principal. Okay, so let's check it out, right? So we just did a quick overview of what it would look like at a 3.5% rate for a $250,000 loan. And let's assume we have a 4.5% interest, which is still, you know, considering history, a pretty low interest rate. Um, but let's just examine what it would look like with just an additional 1% in that interest rate. So we're at 4.5%. Our new monthly payment goes up to $1,266. And we have the new total of all payments made interest in principal at 456. And the total interest paid after that is $206,000. So that's $206,000 on a mortgage of 250,000, which is a lot, right? So let's see what we're saving by that three and a half percent interest rate, right? So we got 1266 right here, minus at 1122. So we're saving an average of $144 a month, right? Roughly with that rate. Now, not a ton of money, but it's always good to have an extra hundred bucks lying around and it's multiply that. So per year, we're gonna have $1,700 to really take a look at this thing and see how much you'd be saving at the end of that entire 30 year mortgage. Just multiply that by 30 and that's 50 grand right there, right? So pretty significant over time. This number right here is assuming, you know, this is only your mortgage. A lot of times banks will have escrow and they'll have your taxes and insurance wrapped into that. I don't want to get into that right now. That's a discussion you should have with your lender. And you know, whenever you go to buy a house, make sure you speak with your lender, you understand everything they're telling you because um, the rates aren't everything. You, you know, having a low rate is great, but you also you know want to keep in mind your deposit, your interest rates, and just make sure the math works for you, right? And you know, a lot of times I'll talk to people and they'll ask me, you know, is now a good time to buy? And I get that question pretty frequently. And you know, what I'll say is, if you are in a comfortable position, you've saved up, 
you have money in a savings account and you are confident that your job is going to stick around and you're an essential employee and you've had your job for a while, then yeah, rates are low. And if you find a house you love, it's a great time to buy. On the other side of that spectrum, if you know you really are kind of thinking about it and you, you know, you don't have a ton of money saved up, maybe it's a good time just to kind of sit back and maybe build up your credit and build up that savings account and go from there, right? Because you know, one of the biggest factors in getting a great interest rate is your credit. So you could be better off right now just focusing on your credit score, building that up, and at the same time, you know, putting money away and going from there. Now, obviously, it, everybody's different. You know, different things are going to work for different people. Your best bet is just to speak with your lender and make sure you know he can tell you everything and explain it to you so you understand everything and you just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Thank you guys very much for watching and I appreciate it if you've made it this far. I know this is kind of a long video, but guys, one of my goals is to share my knowledge with as much people as I can. So if you can like this, comment, subscribe, or you know pass this along, that would be awesome. I appreciate you guys watching this and um, I will see you next time. All right, thanks.